Russia is also believed to be behind a number of cyber attacks on Ukraine in the days ahead of the invasion. President Biden has already warned U.S. companies of the heightened risk for them as well. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt looking more into this issue for us tonight. And Karen, you talked with cybersecurity experts about what that could look like right here at home. Yeah, Karen, and they say that it would start small with attacks on things like servers or launching malware, with our likely targets being to our critical infrastructure like power grids. They say the more the U.S. gets involved, the more the risk goes up. While the world watches Russia's invasion of Ukraine unfold, there's a less visible attack being monitored online. Every company out there should think that they are in crisis mode. James Turgle is in charge of the Cyber Risk Division for Optiv Securities here in Denver. But his background is with the FBI's Information and Technology Branch. He says Russia's use of cyber attacks will continue. Those same types of attacks are going to be used here, right, as the U.S. starts to, to put political pressure uh, on that government. The likely targets here would be to our critical infrastructure. U.S. Representative Ken Buck says it's a possibility lawmakers have considered. But the reality is that's an act of war. And uh, when you engage in war with a nuclear power and a power that has uh, far greater cyber capabilities than you do, uh, Putin would be foolish to, to go down that road. And while our personal accounts online are at less of a risk of being hacked, there is widespread agreement that Russia will be utilizing social media and its reach in their fight. You're going to see utilizing those platforms in order to either spread disinformation or some type of other propaganda. Vladimir Putin is a child of the KGB and, and he uh, absolutely understands uh, the value of propaganda. Now, Turgle says that companies should be proactive, putting in additional security protections like um, adding two-factor authentication and encryption in order to protect access to their private networks. In Denver, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. All right, Karen, thank you. Well, this is an incredibly active and evolving story that we know Coloradans are paying close attention to. It's one that we will continue to follow and update all across all of our newscasts at CBS News Colorado and also on our website, cbsdenver.com. Nearly two months after the market.